episode of the ESCC Kids Online. We've been learning about how Jesus was born. We have learned about how an angel first visited Mary and then Joseph to tell them about Jesus' birth. Then we heard about how Mary and Joseph had to travel to Bethlehem and how they struggled to find a place to stay. Last we learned about why God sent Jesus to earth as a baby. Well, today's story is about the first people to hear the special news about Jesus' birth. Watch this story with us carefully so that you can answer the questions afterwards. The story of Christmas, Jesus and the Shepherds. This is Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God who would grow up to do amazing things. His parents on earth were Mary Hi. and Joseph. Hey Jesus was born in a barn because there was no room for him anywhere else in Bethlehem. On the night Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in the field keeping watch over their sheep. <sighs> Suddenly, an angel appeared before them uh -huh. and a bright light shone all around them. Ah! The shepherds were so scared, but the angel said, don't be afraid. Uh, okay. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Whoa, what? The angel told the shepherds that they would find Jesus in a barn wrapped in strips of cloth, laying in a manger. Okay. Then the angel was joined by many, many other angels, and all of them sang, Glory to God in highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. Then the angels returned to heaven. Uh, what just happened? And the shepherds said to each other, let's go to Bethlehem. Yeah. So they hurried to the village you say that. and found the baby Jesus laying in the manger. Wow. <laughs> After seeing Jesus, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had told them about the baby Jesus. Everyone who heard the shepherd's story were amazed. Mary made sure she remembered all these things and thought about them often. Then the shepherds went back to their sheep and praised God for all they had seen. The baby was exactly who the angel had told them he was, the savior of the world, the son of God. We are going to play a game to see how well you listen during the story. All the answers are either yes or no. If you think the answer is yes, can you please stand? If you think the answer is no, then stay seated. While we played the game, um, you can stay seated. Okay, here goes the first one. The first thing the angel said to the shepherds was, wake up! The first thing the angel told the shepherds was not to be afraid. The angel wanted the shepherds to know that they were bringing good news, not bad news. The second one. The angel told them that they would find Jesus in his room, playing with Lego. <laughs> no, not at all. They would find themselves as a baby wrapped in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. When the angels had gone, the shepherds rolled over and went back to sleep. No. They immediately went to find Jesus. Okay, last one. Let's see who wins this one. After the shepherds saw Jesus, they went and told everyone they could find. Ha, oh, clever boys. Yes, they were the first people to tell the others about Jesus. Just like the shepherds, we can tell others about Jesus too. Let's go and share the gospel by doing some praise and worship.
special stick that a shepherd uses is called? I think it's called a crook. Well, yes, it is called a crook, and what a silly name that is, but it is <laughs> called a crook. Now, does anybody know what the shepherd would have used the crook for? <laughs> well, this candy cane over here, it reminds me of a crook because it's got the same shape. Now, crook is used to guide your sheep. It's used to guide your sheep, guide sheep, guide sheep to the left, guide sheep to the right. Or it's used to pull the sheep back to safety. So you hook it around the neck and you pull them back. Did you know that in the Bible, God actually says that he is our shepherd? So now if I turn this crook around, it kind of looks like a J. And this J reminds me of Jesus. So it reminds me that Jesus is our shepherd. And like I said, Jesus says that he is our shepherd in the Bible. There's a parable. And we can read that in John 10, verse 11 to 16. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep, and my sheep know me. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep, I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. So guys, there's a lot to learn from this short passage. Let's start by figuring out what every part of Jesus' story means. Jesus makes it clear that he is the good shepherd, the one who takes care of his sheep. Now, can anyone guess then who the sheep are? That's right, we are the sheep. Now, before we go on and, and look at the other parts of the story, let's get a good idea on what sheep are like. When Jesus compares us to sheep, he's not paying us any compliments. Have any of you ever seen a sheep at a petting zoo or a farm? Sheep aren't the cleanest of animals, are they? They're very smelly and dirty, and every time they lay down, they get grass and sticks and dirt all gets caught up in their wool. And you know, they can't help it. You know, there's also, there's also these types of bugs that like to live in their wool on the top of their heads too. And they can't clean themselves. They can't get rid of the bug. They need someone to, well, come and get rid of the bug for them. And it's the shepherd's job to do that, to help clean the sheep. Otherwise, the sheep stay dirty. Now, let's think about us now. Can we clean our spiritual selves? Is there anything we can do to clean all by ourselves to wash away our sins? Of course not. We have to go to Jesus, the good shepherd, to be cleansed of our sins. Not only are sheep dirty, they're pretty young too. I know it seems silly and, and dumb is not a word I would ever want any of you to use when talking about yourself or anybody else. But with sheep, it really is it really, really is true. Sheep don't think for themselves. They just follow other sheep who seem to be in charge. This means that they'll follow each other even if one sheep walks to the edge of the cliff or straight off the cliff. <gasps> the other sheep will follow. <laughs> Can you think of ways we follow others without thinking? Sometimes we're so eager to fit in and be cool or you know, do or like or say what other people do or say without even thinking about it. It's very important for us to think our actions through and think our words through and even our beliefs. I don't want any of you to just follow what others do just because they seem right. Whenever you make a decision about something or whether you say something or whether you choose to believe in something, pray about it, read your Bible, Ask God to help you make this decision so that it lines up with the truth which we know is in the Bible. Now guys, another interesting fact about sheep is that they are directionally challenged. The poor things couldn't find their way out of a wet paper bag and 
If they wandered off from the flock and the shepherd, it's hard, if not impossible, for them to find their own way back. The shepherd has to come in and find them whoop, and bring them back to the flock. Jesus shares a story about this very thing happening in Luke 15, verse 4 to 7. It says, if a man has a hundred sheep and one of them gets lost, what would he do? Won't he leave the other 99 others in the wilderness to go and search for that one until he finds it? And when he has found it, he will rejoice and carry it home on his shoulders. When he arrives, he will call together all his friends and neighbors saying, Rejoice with me because I have found my lost sheep. In the same way, there is more joy in heaven over one lost sinner who repents and returns to God than over the 99 others who are righteous and haven't strayed. This is what our good shepherd Jesus does with us when we start to wander away from him. He comes after us and carries us back to him and back to the flock. And then he celebrates that we're right back in a wonderful, righteous relationship with him. Now guys, this Christmas, when you read or hear the story of Jesus' birth, and you see the shepherds with their staffs. And remember that Jesus guides you and helps you and shows you the right way to go. Don't forget about him and start doing your own thing. The Bible says that he comes to you because he loves you so much. Now look at this candy cane again. And it's white with red stripes or red with white stripes. But the red reminds me, the red reminds me of the blood of Jesus and the white reminds me that the blood of Jesus pays for my sins and that my sins are forgiven and the Bible says that once our sins are forgiven our hearts are as white as snow so this candy cane reminds me not only of the letter J but it also reminds me for the sins that have been forgiven that Jesus has paid for me and that I can be a part of God's family Listen to this poem that someone wrote to me about a candy cane. Look at the candy cane. What do you see? Stripes that are red, like the blood shed for me. White is for my Savior, who is sinless and pure. J is for Jesus. My Lord, that's for sure. Turn it around and a staff you will see. Jesus, my shepherd, was born for me. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for being my shepherd. Thank you for loving me and caring about me. Thank you for guiding me in everything I do every day. Help me to tell others the good news about you, just like the shepherds did. Amen. Well, everybody, I really hope that you all enjoyed this episode of our ESCT Kids video. And we look forward to continuing this series in our next video when we tell the story of what changed the world. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.